as you work along, you might want to have a customized ribbon. And that is what we're going to see in this lesson right here. So you can see that there's a bunch of ribbon uh, commands right here from in home, uh, insert design and so forth. But I may want to create something um, on my own. So what I can do is I can actually right click anywhere in the um, ribbon right here and then I can click on customize ribbon. So once I click that, this option will open up right here to customize the ribbon. I can also optionally go into file right here and I can go to options and this will pop up. So under customize ribbon, you can see that over here on the right side, these are the ribbons which are already there. So right now, developer is off as you can see and draw is off. So once I uh, check them out, press OK, you can see that the developer mode is on now and draw is on as well. I can right click and I can go in to customize the ribbon again. And now what I'm going to do is create uh, one custom ribbon for me. So I'm going to click on new tab, which will actually bring out new tab right here, as you can see, and I want to rename it. So I'm going to right click and rename this out. So I'm going to rename this as tutor tube, just like this and press OK. Once you do that, you can see that this ribbon name is here. And here I'm simply going to say uh, edit and I'm going to choose a uh, smiley face for this. All right. So that's going to be the icon. I can also create another new group uh, under the same tab right here and rename this out. And I'm going to choose any icon that I like and I'm going to see uh, correction. All right. Correction. Press OK. So now I'm ready to um, keep uh, the selected commands right here. For example, uh, under edit, I may want to add in the add text. So you can see that now add text is here. Auto align, keep it at under editing, uh, edit. Copy, I'm going to keep it under edit as well. And under correction, maybe I want to uh, add in something like bold, add that in. And maybe I want to add something from other commands. So let, I'm going to say main tabs right here. And I'm going to go on to under my home tab, under my paragraph settings, and I'm going to say align middle. I may want to add this one in and I may want to add in rotate text right here. So you can see that tutor tube is here. I can also um, actually rearrange the tabs right here according to by selecting this arrow right here. So let's say I want the tutor tube at the end after the Acrobat tab, which is also uh, an edited tab created by Adobe Acrobat. So I have it to tube right here. So you can see that all of the commands are there and I'm going to press OK. And once you should see that, uh, see this, that uh, the to tube tab is here. There's the edit with the text auto line and copy option and the correction with the bold line and uh, the auto rotate as you can see. So another thing I can do is remove this tab as well. So I'm going to right click for that and I'm going to go to customize ribbon. I'm going to select it to tube. You don't see any remove option right here. You can disable it out, but to completely remove it, you can right click on this and click on remove. But removing only works for the tabs which you have created. So if I were to go into home, you don't see a remove option right there. So once that's done, let me press OK and the teacher tube tab has been removed. So that is how you can work with the ribbon and customize the ribbon tab uh, inside of uh, Microsoft video hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe